28. The reciprocal of a real number. Reciprocal? What is that? Well, let's talk about it. Objective. To simplify expressions using re... What is this business? Reciprocal? No. Reciprocal. Nice. Using reciprocals. Property of reciprocals or reciprocals, whatever. Um, for every non-zero real number a, there is a unique real number one over a, such that a times one over a is equal to one. So, so every number a has another number that, when multiplied by, you get one. It's nice, and that number is called its reciprocal. For instance, five has something you can multiply it by; they end up with one. What is it? It's its reciprocal, one over five. Two-thirds does also. What is it? It's a reciprocal, three halves. You know, if you multiply across, you get your six over six, which is one, right? Five is the same thing as five over one, so this one, if I multiply, I get five over five. So that's our reciprocal. Nice, that's the property of reciprocals, cool. Property of the reciprocal of the opposite of a number. Well, for any every non-zero number A, 1 over negative a is the same thing as negative 1 over a. So the reciprocal of negative a is negative 1 over a, right? So what's the reciprocal of negative 5? Well, it's negative 1 over 5. So you could write it like this. Negative 5 is the same thing as negative 5 over 1. And when you flip it, or find the reciprocal, you could write it, I mean, you could write this, right? 1 over 8, you know, but, I mean, there's no, no, no need to because these are all the same. Negative a over b is the same as writing it a over negative b, or negative a b, right? So, it doesn't matter where the negative sign is in the, in the numerator, the denominator, just like right outside, it's all, you know, it all means the same thing. So, negative three-fifths, or three over negative five, and negative three-fifths is all the same, right? Okay, cool. Oh, goodness! Who sneaks those in there? All right. Property of the reciprocal of a product. The property of the reciprocal of a product says the following. For all non-zero numbers A and B, the reciprocal of A, well, AB, right, or 1 over AB, the same thing as 1 over A times 1 over B. So what it's saying is the reciprocal of the product of two non-zero numbers, so what's the reciprocal of, like, um, 3 times 2? Well, what's the reciprocal of 6, right? Reciprocal of 3 times 2 is the same thing as... Um, you know, we know it's 1 over 3 times 2, but we can also write it as 1 over 3 times 1 over 2. The reciprocal of the product of the two of two non-zero numbers is the product of their reciprocals. The reciprocal of a product is the product of the reciprocals of each individual factor of that product. All right? So, got a couple of um, little doozies here we're going to work out. Um, we use the distributive property to rewrite this, okay? It's negative one eight times fifty six g. So let's rewrite this. Uh, let's, let's distribute our negative one eight. So I'm going to write negative one eight times fifty six g minus negative one eight times seventy two eighths. Right? And let's see. Negative one eight times fifty six. Hmm. Isn't that the same thing as writing? Uh, let's see. Can I rewrite fifty six somehow? Let's see. Um, or could I, I mean, there's a couple ways you could do this, um, but I could rewrite it like this. I could say, oh, that's the same thing as negative one-eighth times, and couldn't I write 56 as 8 times 7, right? Yeah, substitute, right? And minus, um, I have my negative one-eighth times 72. Ooh, couldn't I write that as um, 8 times 9h, right? And look what we can do. Look at that. How nice is this? Negative one, well, one eighth times eight, right? We know that equals one, or negative one, right? Because of the negative. So a, a number of times it's reciprocal is one. A number of times it's reciprocal is one, right? So we just worry about the signs. I get negative seven g here. Minus a minus is a positive, right? So we get nine h. And some people, you know, you can kind of think about this. You say, you know, what's this is the opposite of one eighth times all this stuff. So you can kind of look at this and say, what's one eighth of fifty six? You know, one eighth, you know, one eighth of it is it's the same thing as dividing by eight, right? Or one eighth of fifty six is seven g, right? 
and then one eighth of negative seventy two is negative nine h. But I want the opposite of those, so these got to switch, right? 